Hi all, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can launch a simple container based application onto the ECS platform. And this container based application is a game 2048 game, which I had actually used in one of the other videos, which is about Amazon EKS or Elastic Kubernetes Service. So this exercise has three or four steps and the first step is to create an ECS cluster. So I'm here in the ECS console, click on clusters and click on create cluster. You can give a name. I'm including my name also there to make it unique. Unus cluster one. And then networking, you can choose the default VPC that is okay and select all the subnets, which means that the underlying hardware may get launched in any of these subnets which is okay with us so come down and you can see that i'm using fargate which is a serverless platform for running your containers i'm not using ec2 instances i leave most of the other fields as default and then click on create and while the cluster is coming up please remember that the ecs cluster is the hardware platform on top of which you are going to run the containers so this represents the hardware platform. Okay, so the cluster is created. What next? I need to create a task definition. It defines or describes the container images which you are going to use while running these containers. And it has a few other parameters such as how much hardware you are going to reserve for that container and what is the role you are giving that container so that that container can access other AWS services. So before you create the task definition, let us create a task role. Okay, for that you have to go to IAM and you have to create a new role. Click on create role and I'm going to create it for an ECS task. So it is not EC2 or Lambda. So search for container, container service, choose that. And in that you can see the third one is service ECS task, choose that next. And I want to add a couple of permission policies. One is the CloudWatch access policy and another one is Amazon ECS task execution role policy, which is going to give basic permission for this container. So let me do that. So let me add Amazon ECS task and uh, using that filter. Yeah, so this policy I want to add to my role. So this is one. Now I want to add one more regarding CloudWatch. Let me give CloudWatch full permission for the time being. Okay, so next you can see that I have added CloudWatch and Amazon ECS task execution role policy, two of them. Name of the role, I will give it as ECS task role 101. This 101 is a random number, you can add anything. Come down and create role. So role is getting created. Once the role is created, you can go back to ECS console. It is already created, the role is created go back to ECS platform and create a task definition. Okay, we have created the cluster and the role. Next thing is we have to define a task, task definitions, in which you have to specify the container image which you are going to use. And you also need to specify the role which you are going to give your container or task. And you can also specify the hardware which you want to reserve for your task. So let's begin by clicking on create new task definition. You can give the name as 2048 game 101. I'll choose launch type Fargate. I will leave most of these as default values. Task size, how much CPU and memory you want to reserve. I will leave it as default, but there are different options available. Here also you can see, but I will leave it as default. Role, I'm going to give ECS task role 101, which I had created. Now, this is important, container details. Let me give the name as 2048 game. Image URI, I'm going to use a Docker Hub image. So go to Docker Hub and uh, you can create your account in Docker Hub and log in there and then you can search for 2048. I had already done it, but let me do it again. And this is what we want to use. Black Iceberg 2048. Click on that. Just copy this. Come back here. Paste. You have to give the repository URL as well. So you have to give docker.io slash black iceberg slash 2048. Okay. Essential container. Yes. Port mappings I'm not going to change, come down. I'll leave everything else as default. Use log collection if you want 
CloudWatch to collect the logs. If you choose this, you will be able to see the log stream in CloudWatch. Come down, create. So this is task definition. So you have created the task definition, but you have to instantiate the task. You have to run the task. For that, you can go here and then run the task. And when you do that, it will ask you in which cluster you want to run. Then you can choose the cluster or you can start from cluster itself. Go to clusters, select the cluster and go to tasks and then run new task. This is the cluster name. I'll use launch type Fargate. Come down. You can choose whether you want a service or a task. I want task. The difference between these two I'll explain in another video. Which task definition family you want to use? I want to use 2048 game 101. Revision automatically it will come. Leave everything else as default and click on create. Now you can see here that okay, it is in provisioning state. Next it will move to pending state and from pending it will go to running state. Refresh this. You can see that it is already running. So to access this game now, click on this and you can open this address. So this is the game basically. Okay, So you know how to play this. You have to use the arrow keys to add up the numbers. For example, if you want to add these two, then your score will increase. So you have to use a right arrow. So four. So like that, you can keep on playing. It is very interesting. Okay. So again, it is a very simple ECS exercise where first we created this cluster. Then we created a role called ECS task role 101. And we gave these two permissions there. Then we created the task definition this task we created, task definition we created. Then using that task definition, we created a task. You can see that here the task is running. And once you have completed the exercise, please ensure that you kill this task. Otherwise, there will be some billing which will come. So select this, go to stop, stop selected, stop. That's it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll come back with more useful videos. Thank you. Bye.